Good morning, welcome to News of Afas with me, Harish Upadhyay. First up, a shocking case of assault and theft took place late last night in Bengaluru. The incident took place at the satellite club in Komagatta at around 11.30 late last night. A gang of 12 masked men entered the club with lethal weapons and attacked the staff before decamping with cash worth 7.5 lakh rupees and 250 grams of gold. A cashier identified as Prabhakar was assaulted and injured in this attack. The, burgl the burglars also damaged TVs and furniture. A case has been registered at Kumbalgodu police station. These are the visuals from the satellite club in Komagata in the Kumbalgodu police station limits where this assault took place around 10 to 12 masked men came in and assaulted the people and decamped with 7 lakh rupees cash and 250 grams of gold. The secretary of the satellite club went on to say that they have registered a complaint and are still looking at the possibility and they are assessing the damage. ಅನ್ನೊಂದು <laughs> ದುಡ್ಡು Members are Idru, Auru, Anunda, Nandoru, Indian Dinanito, to do transaction of Alanodi, the La Forto, Zundu, eight thousand to Bukati, the Abud Prefla. Amon Jati and Gutagi managed any attack Madison. It got it over Madison on the Visha is the matter. Bere, Yaru was so broke or Brakta the alleged. Yaru local nore Madison. Well, that was the secretary of the satellite club who went on to say that this attack happened around eleven fifteen, eleven thirty, and he got to know about it. Around 12.30, the club members and the administrative staff suspect that it was someone who was a regular at the club who was attacked after getting to know that there was heavy transaction in the wake of the Ugadi festival and the collection smear and it was a pre-planned attack by people who knew about the club. Well, the elections heat is heating up in Bengaluru and other parts of Karnataka. And as we go, we now show you various election stories from across the country. We'll cut you across to the live press conference of SM Krishna, who's addressing a media conference. It will be interesting to see if he will comment on the internal crisis in the party in the Mandya District Congress. G.V. Suresh is a tried and fit Congress leader, and he is, again, we are, uh, we, we are projecting him as uh, the face of uh, Bangalore uh, rural, Bangalore rural. You know uh, the political scene of uh, Bangalore rural, who was dominant till about yesterday and what happened today. I'm not going into uh, the uh, finer details of it. You know. uh, then see Narayan Swami, you know. Uh, I have known him as the president of Bengal Jilla uh, Parishad. I know his deep commitment to the local self-government philosophy, especially the rural development. And, uh, well, he was in some other political parties. But he has been 
working like a non-partisan president of the Jinda Parishad. That is the virtue of uh, Mr. Narayan Swami. Huh? And he, he has shown remarkable resilience. Uh, when once I was uh, talking to uh, the higher ups in Delhi, I mentioned about Mr. Narayan Swami. This was two, three years back. They were very keen. We were very keen that a good man was in the wrong political party. So now he has come where he rightly belongs. So I am sure that uh, Mr. Narayan Swami uh, will be uh, a very successful uh, member representing, he will be representing uh, uh, Bangalore now uh, very ably and in a befitting manner and uh, well, with this proper introduction I have been saying about uh, the Pradesh Congress President for the, uh, in the last so many interviews uh, that uh, I have done I think in the last three and a half years he has uh, contributed tremendously uh, to the development of the political party. To his credit, a Congress government has been installed in Karnataka, which itself is a crowning glory of Dr. Parmeshwar. So, thank you very much. Uh, now, now, we will be guided by what you say. Well, that was S.M. Krishna who was addressing a press conference from his house before starting his well, poll campaign. Well, uh, as many he will kickstart his poll campaign from the Bengaluru Central Constituency Day, Constituency Today later. He's scheduled to campaign for Ramya in Mandya where he will also inaugurate the Mandya Parliamentary Constituency Campaign Office. Remember, Man Ramya has been campaigning alone in Mandya. A war broke out between Amrish faction and SM Krishna faction of the Mandya District Congress President's post, meanwhile, worried over the factional feud and its adverse impact on the prospect of Ramya. The KPCC has appointed Advocate Somshekar as the working president for now. Somshekar was appointed after Chief Minister Sidramaya and KPCC President G. Parmeshwar held talks with the Chief Minister SM Krishna. Got 402 seats. So we have seen those waves. They were natural waves which emanated from the hearts of uh, people across, you know, from the rural areas, from the urban areas. But here, the wave which has been created by vested interests you know, is only to be talked about, to be written about, you know. But on the ground, we do not see any view. So when uh, talking to us, you spoke about Congress's uh, mechanism of uh, self correction. But what about how can you justify giving out tickets to somebody like a Chavan or a Bansal? But the Congress itself, as you said, has its self corrective skills. How is it justified to give out tickets to dated politicians or even accused politicians like Mr. Bansal or the other? Like Bansal and the Bansal. As, as Mr. Ashok Chawa, has he been convicted in any, in a court of law? Well, that was Asam Krishna who was addressing the press conference, went on to say that there is absolutely no Modi wave on the ground. It is all created by vested interest. He has seen earlier in his days, whether it's a wave in favor of Indira Gandhi or other leaders, but this time around he doesn't see any wave on the ground. That's what SM Krishna, who will start his campaign in Bengaluru Central Constituency, had to say. somebody gets convicted on a charge sheet file,